First of all, very special announcement. This week is Animal Week. Let's go ahead and get a round of applause for Animal Week. I didn't hear nothing. Okay, maybe next time. What we got here today? We got a sad story about a gorilla named Harambe. Now, Harambe was doing like any other gorilla trapped inside of a zoo, minding his own business. But then what happened? A little boy, bad little boy, talking about he want to go in the water. But the mother told him, no, you're not. No, you're not. And then somebody named O'Connor said after that they heard a splash. Meaning that little joker jumped in the dang water. Right next to the 400 pound gorilla named Harambe. Now I can't show you the footage. Because YouTube is going to say, you can't show that footage. That ain't your footage. You can't do it. But this is what it looked like. They got a little boy and they got a gorilla. Big old gorilla. Little boy. Now the gorilla 17 year old. The boy is 4 years old. When you look at the footage, it seemed as if the gorilla was trying to protect the little child. But you have to wonder how much a 400 pound gorilla can protect a child. The joker got muscles everywhere. Muscles on his hands can barely touch the kid and snap him right in half. So what they end up doing to this gorilla is they end up shooting him dead. Gorilla is gone. That's why you're seeing Rip Gorilla in loving memory of Harambe, a senseless death. And it was a senseless death. It's not like it's his fault that this little bad boy decided to jump down there. And then you have to look at the whole zoo situation. It's not his fault he was at the freaking zoo. What a miserable place for animals. They just sit there in this unnatural habitat while people just look at them. Just trapped. And then they got to watch out for jokers. Jumping down there and getting them shot. Which is why you see outrage. See pages like Justice for Harambe. Facebook page currently has more than 11,000 likes. Dang. Let's, let's click on it. Let's see what they're talking about. Justice for Harambe community. It's got 14,000 likes now. I would like to remind everyone that this page was established in an effort to honor the memory of Harambe and see justice done for this beautiful animal. Disrespect, rudeness, and any other form of inappropriate behavior will not be tolerated. You will not be warned or given a second chance, just like Harambe was. You will be deleted, banned, and blocked immediately if you are unable to keep your post civil. That is all. The founder has spoken. Who the heck is this joker? The founder? Kind of weird. I see it. Come on. No. Not sure why they killed me. I was doing a better job watching the lady's kid than she was. Ooh. Ouch. Hmm. I think there's some truth to that statement. And look, we even got a petition talking about sign to support Harambe's law. Let's, let's look at that. Let's see what they're talking about. Dang, they almost reached the 10,000 needed to support Harambe's law for the gorilla killed in Cincinnati. In light of the recent tragedy at the Cincinnati Zoo and the death of Western lowland gorilla Harambe and the enormous loss of this critically endangered animal, we would like to pass Harambe's law so there are legal consequences when an endangered animal is harmed or killed due to the negligence of visitors. Hmm. If this law is enacted, it will not only protect the animals, but will hold individuals accountable for actions resulting in harm or death of an animal. So what the, what the heck do they mean with this? Uh, no one wants to see it. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. Okay. Seriously, we like to enact. If any time. Then they, oh, the negligent party or parties be held financially and criminally responsible for any harm or loss to an animal. Specifically, when said animal is critically 
in danger. You know, I don't know if I agree with uh, Harambe's law. And why I say that is because you really don't know how far the government would go with that. Like how much they would make the fine or how long they would put you in jail. I don't like that they killed the gorilla. Really, it's not his fault. You say you could use a tranquilizer in this situation, but how quick will it work? Remember that gorilla could barely touch the kid and kill him. You have to think, what if it was your kid? And yes, the parents are idiots for not keeping the kid in check. But what does all this craziness boil down to? This is a product of man messing with nature. So the video is over, but it ain't all the way over. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also like me on Facebook.com slash Red Silver J. Twitter man, Twitter man. Oh yeah, I'm also on that Twitter. Follow me on Twitter.com slash Red Silver J. I'm on that Insta. Instagram.com slash Red Silver J. Oh snap, Snapchat at Red Silver J. Oh, I gotta say.